please state your name and position to the camera? Brother Patrick Lacey, Fire Chief of St. Vincent. And as Fire Chief, I would ask all students to keep their beds away from the electric heaters. Yes, we have a fire department at St. Vincent College. Our duties include fire protection, fire prevention, fire suppression, and life protection. We accomplish this through a training and at our disposal a 750 pumper tanker and other specialized equipment. I would say that uh, whenever the fire alarms are pulled for everyone to leave the building, because if we do have a fire, people are going to lose their lives, and that's the most important thing, that you need to leave the building. Oh, my God. 
Brother Steve, I'll Assistant Fire Chief of St. Vincent. And if you had something to say to the Brother, we might student body, the what would it be uh, about the Well, offhand, I say they were pretty darn decent boys and girls. Uh, they seem to appreciate the, uh, the fire uh, alarms, well, not the fire alarm, but fire sprinkler <laughs> systems in all the rooms. And unless there uh, is a little mischief of uh, weekends where they get carried out, carried on with drinking and stuff, it might cause a few fires in sofas and stuff. But offhand, I think they're pretty decent men and girls. Thank you. In America, at least twice a week, a firefighter dies in the line of duty. Heroes in the truest sense of the word. Firefighters spend their lives doing gritty, dangerous work, wearing down their lungs and their bodies so that the rest of us can have safer lives. When a fire apparatus is responding, there's a risk factor. Tensions and adrenaline run high. There are lots of noises and distractions, and people drive tremendously erratically when in the presence of fire trucks. In 1987, there was a false alarm at St. Vincent College that was accidentally submitted to Westmoreland 911, thus causing Latrobe, Lloydsville, and Youngstown volunteer fire departments to respond with approximately 12 fire trucks and up to 200 firefighters. This is a potentially dangerous situation because of the many hazards involved with emergency operations. To summarize, when false alarms are pulled, you risk the possibility of calling all the local fire departments and hundreds of local firefighters. This endangers their lives in just coming here. So by pulling an alarm, you could kill a husband, wife, father, mother, friend, brother. So let's think about the consequences. And when you feel the urge to pull a fire alarm, just go break a paper towel holder instead. <laughs> 